the beginner guide to scanning diagnostic trouble codes with a Launch X431 Pro Elite scanner. You have reached your vehicle. At this point in time, I hope that you know where your OBD port is. You might need to do some research on Google to identify where it is. Get familiar with the shape of that port because I've seen instances where people in the beginning managed to damage that OBD connector or where the connector was damaged. So go next to it, look at it, identify it at the first time when you are connecting something to it. Later, it will be simpler to, to do. We connect to this port. We make sure that the ignition is on on the vehicle. And some people will go for what is called a VIN scan. Let's see if we're able to show it. I'm trying to see if I'm able to showcase it on this unit. A second little camera. So that intelligent, intelligent diagnose function is something that automatically scans for the VIN of the vehicle identifying it. On newer vehicles it works, but on more specific vehicles, Fiat Abarth or some crazy vehicles, it might not work. My fail-safe method is going for local diagnose. You go to select the region where your vehicle is and you select the brand. I'm selecting BMW in this case. Okay. As I was telling you previously, you have seen now that because I downloaded some updates, the unit is performing the updates. Very important to have that Wi-Fi and have a hotspot available somehow because if the unit requires it to do this and you don't have that option, you're not able to do the diagnostics. So have it available, have your phone with the Wi-Fi hotspot so that everything can work as it should, especially on tools that you haven't used previously or haven't used in a long period of time. I've also noticed that launch is quite specific with the number of days that have passed since you last went online. More than 30 days, it will not allow you to run the diagnostic processes. Here, I will go for automatically search, but if you are having problems with selecting or with the diagnostic tool identifying your vehicle on the automatic search function, select manual. You go for the type of vehicle, the generation. Let's try it. And after that, you go for health report. That is the easiest way to get all of the information in one place. The X431 Pro Elite lineup of diagnostic tools is the full system diagnostic tool. So by comparison with the CR123 that we have previously used to showcase this type of code reading, this one will engage and will bring the diagnostic trouble codes from many more other ECUs or from theoretically all the ECUs that the vehicle is having. We have the list of codes. This tool is giving us the possibility of searching for them on Google automatically from it. Again, a good idea to have the Wi-Fi on your mobile device so that you're able to search for information quite easily straight from the tablet. And later we will be discussing diagnostic protocols or diagnostic methods. One of the most common one used is we scan, we clear and we rescan after performing a test drive to see which codes come back so that we focus our efforts only on the codes that are present at that time and later address the other ones if they come back. Similar to the other tool, we will be generating a report and ideally you want to save this report either by taking pictures because the diagnostic trouble codes are the ones that you want to do research about. As an example, here we have 28D 600 mass airflow signal open circuit or short circuit positive ground those ones as a um, additional layer of information diagnostic trouble codes have a state indicator so they can be permanent they can be intermittent or they can be historical based on 
these states, you know if it's a diagnostic code that actually is happening then, or it's something that the ECU has stored in the memory. That will influence the way that you go towards the troubleshooting process. We have all sorts of options of sharing and, and doing something with the information that we have, sending it to a customer or saving it ourselves. For the purpose of this video, we stop here. Later, in a different video, we will start showcasing how you go about actually solving and doing research about these types of diagnostic codes. Very useful will be clear DTCs as a button because that is the normal flow and a rescan after that to see what comes back.